hello everyone and welcome back to the channel i hope you are doing well so guys in this video we are going to practice uh, cognizant technical assessment questions which are mcq so this is going to be very helpful if you are also going to attempt your cognizant technical assessment we know that there are three clusters right in cognizant technical assessment so this video is going to help be helpful if you are also going to attempt your technical assessment soon make sure to watch the video till complete end and if you have any doubts in any of the questions you can ask me in the comment section and uh, before we start looking at the questions if you are new to my channel make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet also there is a complete playlist on cognizant preparation on my channel for gen c role so make sure to check that also if you haven't checked it yet so let's now start with our today's video let's look at this question what is the primary benefit of cloud computing the options that we have are reduced operational cost increased hardware requirements less scalability decreased efficiency so the correct answer for this question is going to be option number a which is reduced operational cost moving on to the next question which of the following is not a service model in cloud computing the options that we have are iaas PAAS, SAAS and DAAS so guys just in case if you are not aware the full forms of IAS, PS, SAAS so I'll tell you IASS stands for infrastructure as a service okay and let's see the other ones then we have platform as a service then we have software as a service okay So there is nothing called as DAS. So the correct answer in this case is option D. That is DASS. So DASS is not a service model in cloud computing. Moving on to the next question. What does IAAS stand for in the context of cloud computing? So guys, in previous question only I told you all the full forms. So the correct answer for this will be infrastructure as a service. So IAAS stands for infrastructure as a service. Hence the correct answer for this question is option B. Moving on to the next question, guys. Before we look at the next question, if you are new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet. Let's look at this question now. Which of the following is an example of public cloud provider? The options that we have are Google Cloud, AWS, that is Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and all of the above. So, guys, in this one, the correct answer is going to be option number D, that is all of the above. So, all of the above, uh, like that is google cloud aws microsoft azure all are public cloud providers okay so now let's move on to the next question the question is which deployment model of cloud computing is the most commonly used by businesses okay and we have different models as the option first is private cloud second is public cloud hybrid cloud and community cloud so in this one the correct answer is going to be hybrid cloud that is option number c so hybrid cloud model uh, is most commonly used by businesses actually so that is why we have selected this answer moving on to the next question uh, next question is based on virtualization okay so the, let's read the question first virtualization in cloud computing allows for we have different options first is creating multiple virtual instances of physical hardware option b is increased hardware requirements option c is reduced internet speed option d is storing all data in one location so guys see virtualization word itself means right uh, uh, with the first option itself you can understand creating multiple virtual instances of physical hardware so that is why the correct answer is going to be option number a in this case okay moving on to the next question so guys i just want to suggest you that directly before directly watching the, the solutions try to think of the uh, answer in your own mind and if you can't figure out then you can continue watching but at least think for a one of the answers okay and guys i know that you know these questions it it won't be like you know you will just watch this video once and it will be fit in your mind you might need to watch the video twice or thrice so that you will be like fully prepared for these types of questions okay let's now move on to the next question which of the following cloud providers offers a pass okay which is platform as a service model options that we have is aws Google Cloud, Microsoft Azure, and all of the above. So this is a uh, correct answer in this case is option D, that is all of the above, because all of the above, which is like AWS, Google Cloud, Microsoft Azure, all of them provided PaaS services, okay? PaaS services as in platform as a service, uh, uh, cloud computing service they provide. That is why we have selected all of the above. 
मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट वी हैव विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ की कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ हाइब्रिड क्लाउड डेवलपमेंट डिप्लॉयमेंट मॉडल ओके एंड दैट सी द ऑप्शन दैट वी हैव फर्स्ट इज इट इन्वॉल्व ओनली प्राइवेट क्लाउड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर ऑप्शन बी इज इट कम्बाइंस बोथ प्राइवेट एंड पब्लिक क्लाउड इन्वायरमेंट ऑप्शन सी इज इट यूज इज अ कम्युनिटी क्लाउड इन्वायरमेंट एंड ऑप्शन डी इज इट इज ओनली एक्सेबल बाय अ सिंगल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द करेक्ट आंसर इन दिस केस वुड बी ऑप्शन नंबर बी दैट इज इट कम्बाइंस बोथ प्राइवेट एंड पब्लिक क्लाउड एनवायरमेंट लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नाउ so in this question what we are asked is in which service model do customers manage the applications while the provider manages everything else okay and we have the options that is saas pas iaas uh, das okay so the correct answer in this case is going to be pas okay that is in platform as a service what happens what was the question that was asked customers manage the applications while the provider manages everything else so application is managed by whom it is managed by customer in case of pass okay let's now move on to the next question that we have the question is which of the following is not a feature of cloud computing okay let's read the options the first option is on demand self service broad network access increased hardware requirements and option d is resource pooling see so you know hardware requirements is not a does not comes under what uh, cloud computing okay rest everything like on demand self service so whenever there is a need of self service regarding any uh, like regarding any of the feature which is provided you can get that broad network access and then resource also can be increased or reduced so all of these are provided by cloud computing but hardware requirements uh, increasing is not related to cloud computing okay moving on to next question in a public cloud resources such as computing power and storage are let's see the options shared by multiple users dedicated to a single organization option c is only accessible by government agencies and option d is located on premise the correct answer in this case is shared by multiple users answer in this case is going to be option a that is uh, resources such as computer power and storage are shared by multiple users moving on what does the a as you go pricing model in cloud computing mean okay so let's see the options that we have option a is pay, you pay upfront for all the services option b is you only pay for the resources you use and option c is you pay fixed monthly fees and option d is you pay for storage only okay so the correct answer in this case will be option b which is you only pay for the resources you use so see it is pay as you go which means only the things which you use for that only you need to pay and you don't need to pay like it's not it does not mean that you have to pay up front for all services no you do not have to pay any fixed monthly amount so how much usage you are having that much you have to pay okay let's move on now to the next question which of the following is an advantage of cloud computing for businesses let's see the options that we have first option is reduced need for it staff option b is increased capital expenditure option c is less scalability and option d is reduced network access the correct answer in this case would be option a that is reduced need for it staff okay so this is one of the advantage of cloud computing for businesses because see with cloud computing uh, the I need of it staff has reduced a bit okay because things are on the cloud now right moving on to the next question which of the following is a major risk of cloud computing okay major risk of cloud computing we have to tell first option is security and privacy concern option b is increased hardware requirement option c is reduced network access and option d is limited scalability the con correct answer for this will be option a that is security and privacy concerns is a major risk of cloud computing okay moving on to the next question now so what what type of cloud computing model would a large enterprise that needs to keep its data private and secure likely use options are private cloud public cloud hybrid cloud and community cloud the correct answer in this case is going to be private cloud which is option a okay so large uh, like large enterprise that needs to keep their data private they usually use private cloud because it is more secure okay moving on to question this one uh, which is which of the following is an example of iaas okay so let's see the options that we have first option is google app engine Uh, option b is aws ec2 that is elastic compute cloud option c is microsoft azure app service and option d is dropbox 
Let's see the correct answer for this one. The correct answer is option number B. That is AWS EC2. So AWS EC2 is an example of what? IAAS. You have to remember that. Okay. Moving on to the next question. In a cloud computing environment, virtualization allows us for options are the creation of isolated environments on a physical machine. Option B is a single user to access all resources. Option C is direct access to hardware components. And option D is storing data on premises. The correct answer in this case is option number A. That is the creation of isolated environments on a physical machine. Let's now move on to our next question. What does TES stand for in cloud computing? So guys, in, first in one of the previous questions only I told you, TES stands for what? Software as a service okay so let's see if we have this option or not first option is secure uh, software as a service only yes so this is only the correct answer Let, let's but also see the different options okay because sometimes you know uh, the options are tricky so always i will suggest that always read all the options given to you second option is security as a service third is service as a software fourth is storage as a service so the correct answer in this case as we have seen is going to be option number a which is software as a service Let's now move on to the next question. Which cloud service model requires customers to manage the operating system and applications? Okay, let's see the options that we have. So first is IAS, which is infrastructure as a service. Second is platform as a service. Third is a software as a service. And fourth is option D, which is all of them. So see, in this case, the correct answer is going to be IAAS, okay, which is infrastructure as a service. Hence, the correct answer is option A. That is IAAS cloud service model requires customers to manage the operating system and application. Basically, they will provide you the infrastructure and then you, customer or you will manage the operating system and the applications inside it. Moving on to the next question. In which deployment model is the cloud infrastructure shared by several organizations with common concerns? So, the options that we have are public cloud, private cloud, community cloud and hybrid cloud the correct answer is option uh, uh, c okay that is community cloud correct answer is option c community cloud deployment model is the cloud infrastructure shared by several organizations with common concern see the word itself has community in it okay so with that also you can remember these types of uh, questions let's move on to the next question which is which of the following is a typical feature of virtualization in cloud computing okay Let's see the options that we have running multiple operation system operating systems on the same physical machine. Option B is storing data in a local data center. Option C is increased re reliance on a physical hardware. Option D is direct access to physical network interfaces. The correct answer in this case is going to be option number A that is running multiple operating systems on the same physical machine. That is the main or typical feature of virtualization in cloud computing. Moving on to the next question now. Which cloud deployment model would be the most appropriate for an organization that needs to keep some data on premises and use public cloud services for other needs? Let's see the option that we have. First option is hybrid cloud. Second is com community cloud. Th third is public cloud. And fourth is private cloud. So see guys, before looking into the answer of this question, let's try to understand what the question is asking. Uh, which deployment model would be most appropriate for an organization that needs to keep some data on premise see one thing is told is they need to keep data on premise and plus use public cloud services for other needs so use public cloud services for other needs so they want both things okay like on premise and public cloud so when both are needed so for that we will select option a which is hybrid cloud okay so that's why in this case the correct answer is going to be hybrid cloud moving on to the next question now what is one of the primary roles of a cloud service provider that is CSP? Let's see the options that we have. First option is to manage customer devices. Option B is to offer resources such as computing power and storage on demand. Option C is to manage customer business operations. And option D is to provide end user technical support. The correct answer in this case is going to be option number B. That is to offer resources such as computing power and storage on demand. That is the main uh, primary role of CSP that is cloud service provider. Moving on to our next question now. Which of the following is an example of a private cloud service? Okay, let's see the options that we have. First option is Amazon EC2. Second option is VMware vSphere. 
Option C is Google Cloud Storage and Option D is Microsoft Azure. So in this case, the correct answer is Option B, which is VMware is vSphere. Okay. Let's now move on to the next question, which is this one. What is the key difference between public and private clouds? Let's see the options that we have. Public clouds are managed by the customer. Private clouds are for individual use only. Public clouds are accessible to multiple customers. And last option is private clouds are used for public services. So in this one, uh, we have to basically tell the difference between public and private cloud. The correct option in this case is going to be option number C, which is public cloud or uh, cloud are accessible to multiple customers. Okay, that is the main difference. So the correct answer is going to be option number C. Let's now move on to our next question. So guys, so far we have seen a lot of practice questions. Now it is the time that I have one question for you. That is the DIY question. DIY as in do it yourself question. What you need to do is you need to tell the answer in the comment box for this question. Okay, let's read the question what it is. The question is what is the primary benefit of cloud computing? And we have the options as first option is higher hardware costs. Option B is scalability and flexibility. Option C is limited accessibility. Option D is requires on-premise servers. So make sure to attempt this question and write down the question of write down the answer of this question in the comment box. So that's all for today, guys. I hope you found the video helpful. If you have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section. Make sure to join me on Telegram and Instagram as well. You can ask your queries in the Instagram DM as well. And if you need any content, you can request it on your on our Telegram channel. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet to receive all the latest regular updates. I regularly post off campus drives and preparation related videos for placements on my channel. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching the video.